Embrace the changes that are here for you. It is your God-given right to receive. You are a blessing on this planet, and those you connect to on the deepest level that open you up to you know this. Even those that you open them up to parts of themselves they'd rather not see, like you're meant to come together to learn to release what's not meant to be. They also see your gifts. And later down the road, or perhaps you're feeling their energy now, they are recognizing what they had. You know that that feeling of you don't know what you've got till it's gone. So if you're feeling these energy tugs, it is their awakening. As you awaken to new levels of awareness, when you awaken and ascend to new levels of consciousness, so do those around you. There is this web, there's this matrix. And that's why this divine dance feels so difficult at times because there's this heavy burden, it seems um, energetically, that as you shed layers, you feel others because they're part of those layers that are shed, right? They're connections that are no longer meant to be on your path. As you elevate, there are these strings attached, so to speak, that you're pulling others up with you unless you choose to cut the cord. There are those connections that you are divinely connected to that you help to elevate on this planet. Satnam Amandevi here offering a general reading and collective message. And as always, take what resonates and disregard the rest. It feels like it's time to celebrate. It's time to look in and just shake off what doesn't serve whether that means to dance whether that means to like a dog you know like shake ah, um equating you to a four-legged um and that is no disrespect to the four-legged it, it's just that same kind of primal instinct of just shaking it off and so perhaps there is so some somatic release work or some embodied practice that will help support these new levels of freedom you're experiencing in the mental and emotional body so that there's no lingering ties to the past that aren't meant for this next journey for you. Um, railroads seem huge, uh, technology seems huge, and it feels like just like there's this phantom limb, it's like the body knows that there was something physically there. The railroad system was huge at one point in our history, our American history. I don't want to go beyond that because I just don't know it. Um, it. The earth knows those grid lines and some of those modes of transportation energetically are awakening. Um, so it's like this newfound life, this newfound dance socially that's happening. And it feels very like magnificent in so far as um, what was lost now found, what was hidden now coming to the surface, what was dormant now awakened. And that feels even more huge. It's like this dormant energy within you now awakens, like you now knowing who the fuck you are, right? So you've probably been toyed with a bit, so then you don't quite know who you are because you're listening to all this fuck shit, so you don't know quite what's going on. And so now you're kind of learning to shake that off. God's given you a new perspective uh, through their angel team, through your guide team. And your guide team and angel team are probably doing some work for you to protect you and move you on. And I've said this in the past, it's like your prayers move mountains because you have this powerful team behind you. If you're feeling someone's energetic attack really strong and you're, and you're kind of thinking in your head, you know, it's they only did X, Y, and Z. You know, if you were to explain that physical, tangible act that they did, it seems quite minute, right? But it feels very heavy. It's because they have a team that helps them with their fuckery, right? Um, but your team is stronger and your tent, intent and your heart um, is well supported here. And I'm only telling you this as to not belittle what you feel as a result of what you're experiencing, right? So don't tone yourself down. Do not talk yourself out of how fucking phenomenal you are. Um, it feels like there is this upgrade in the mental body. The emotional body is getting elevated. Um, and again, there might be some work that is required of you to just kind of 
let it land like let the planes land i'm kind of seeing those bonds of someone on the airstrip it's like you doing your happy dance um to really just bring in the blessings that are meant for you and you recognizing or perhaps just getting a glimpse you're humble of just what a blessing you are when i was getting ready to set up i was putting away cards and this note from who knows what reading um fell out and bilateral stimulation this is something uh that was talked about in dr ivan joseph's ted talk um gaining confidence he talked about um lance armstrong doing this work that when he wanted to change the mindset he 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 shifted the bracelet from side to side um the um this was all like listed in my head <laughs> As soon as I saw this and I didn't write it out and now I'm like at a loss for words. Um, the brain games, they do that cross crawl work. Um, Kundalini yoga does bi bilateral stimulation on a lot of the Kriya sets and I have one in particular that's coming to mind. Um, but I don't have the book with me. Um, so if you're in my Facebook group, um, if you've gotten a personal reading from you, from me, um, or connected, um, in some magical way, you're probably in my, um, uh, Facebook group and I will post this, um, Kriya set. I won't be tomorrow, <laughs> but keep an eye out. But there is one in particular I'm seeing for releasing anger. And I think sometimes we get afraid of anger, um, and, you know, you can have your own opinion about this because we've seen or afraid of our own power because we've seen others abuse it. We've seen anger cause destruction. We've seen power cause destruction. Well, you have an intent and a heart behind you that is not going to cause that damage. So the anger within you most likely is like a propeller for you to move on to the next stage of your journey. So not to be afraid of your anger and some things need to crumble to the ground. And it doesn't mean you don't sit and have your tears or your adult temper tantrum or have that moment of grief that you need as a result of that destruction. Some bridges do need to be burned. Some chapters need to be rewritten. Some doors need to close. And I feel like you've got a sense of what doors need to close for you. And as you lighten your load on that end, the divine is going to open more doors for you. So continue your heart work and trust this these ahas because as there's this mental and emotional shift, things that upset you in the past aren't gonna upset you in the same way. The things that like had you in a loop mentally questioning, you're gonna see from a, new, a different way and it's just gonna kind of click in a new way. So just follow that up with some sort of tangible, tangible, like, whether that's to write a letter of thank you, whether it's to light a candle, get your pumpkin out for your blessing, something like this, um, or to do some movement, dance, energy work. Um, but again, I'll, I'll post something about bilateral stimulation. I have seen that there are some Kundalini yoga teachers, um, and one of the addiction uh, online forums and, and I can see how that would work because you know you're re rewiring at the nervous system level so that's the importance that's what they want to stress is that they're helping you with the emotional mental work now please can you do your work to help your nervous system right so if a space doesn't feel right step back if you need some rest take it if you feel feel an inspired action take it. If you want to book that massage, do it. If you need that acupuncture, do it. That sort of thing. What's been on your mind lately? And how's it changed from what was on your mind yesterday? Cups, two of cups, connection here, but also the polarities of light and dark, night and day good and bad or right or wrong so we're gonna wash that shame away and allow you to see yourself anew and, and as you move beyond those polarities there's so many opportunities afoot for you right I mean then you start to clean up in an emotional body that shame is heavy energy that pulls you back it takes an idea from yay to nay right and God is propelling you forward your and angels are holding your hand to say come on let's grow 
they're going to move it into the material and there will be success here. That's what the Eight of Pentacles tells us. There is success. There is momentum. And the grid work is helping you. So if you find yourself traveling between certain locations, uh, new power places, so to speak, have been awakened. So you might find yourself holding an object, being in a space, talking to an enlightened being and start to gain access to your own intuitive insights through those places, through those peoples, through these connections that help you rewire what's meant for you to see. So continue to believe in what inspires you. Believe us when we say we need you to carry on our work. Angels work by free will and they're help with divine timing. So some of your impatience, they understand, right? But there's a lot happening beneath the surface. So continue your heart work, right? It will come back into a cycle for you, okay? It is tangible. The success is near, right? The connection, the love that you feel dear to your heart, that employment that you want to seek, that program you want to create, that community <clears throat> that will embrace you, that tribe, it's here for you, right? And it's all coming together. Hearing top cards, I'm just going to go with that. Embrace friendship. So there are some connections here. So it might be time, you know, to do some networking that's out of your comfort zone if you have an idea because you're going to meet that person that's going to connect you to the resources you need and or support you because there are so many fucking naysayers that are going to pull down at your energy because keeping you at their level makes them more comfortable, right? You elevating and growing to new skin makes them uncomfortable because they've chosen to be complacent. They've chosen a box and they've stayed in it, right? And you're saying, no mas, I'm gonna outgrow my skin. I'm going to elevate, right? God has chosen you for a particular path, a particular assignment. Keep going. The support you need is here. And you might <clears throat> receive that in the dream world. And then there are some of us that are gonna receive it in the dream world we don't need. So there are the boundaries that are needed to protect you from the energies that are kind of grabbing at you that aren't meant on your path any longer. So uh, say your prayers. Um, they're, they're reinforcing, they keep saying grid work, grid work. The grid work is what's bringing you into alignment with who you're meant to be. So notice if you're traveling between two places or different places or drawn to certain people, right? Or having conversations you didn't intend on, but were exactly what you needed to hear and say. So allow yourself to be open to what's here for you, right? We're protecting our boundaries from the past, from what lingers, what pulls, what tugs, what's heavy, and we're opening ourselves up. I'm seeing the ground where a deer would actually lay the groundwork, you know, create that little space um, to bring in their mate. So it's like um, the divine has done the groundwork, the energy work is here, that it's happening on multiple dimensions, but then also you've got some cleaning house to do in the emotional body, but also some boundaries to set in the energy and your dream world so that those coming to the realization and feeling their regrets of the past that you're connected to, and they're starting to tug at their energy, mm -mm, cut those cords, say that prayer, and it might have to happen again and again. And when they come to mind, you know, sometimes someone comes to your mind and you're like, oh, let me call and see how they're doing, right? And check in, heart to heart. Well, if it's somebody you're cutting a cord from, and somebody that you no longer want access to you energetically, emotionally, physically, or otherwise, don't pick up the call in the thoughts don't pick up the call or respond to that text. You know, you've got to, it, it's like weeding your garden. You've got to keep pulling at those weeds to weed your garden bed to grow what it is you want for your life in this lifetime, right? Otherwise, they're going to gain access if you let them in an inch and, and they don't deserve it. Spend time on yourself, balance yourself. Uh, 39, I'm going to say three to nine, manifesting exactly what it is you want, your heart desires. All right. So take some time for you. Go for that walk in the park. Do that energy work. Shake it out. Scream. Allow the anger. 
and transmute the story that was turning in your head into a beautiful blessing ready to unfold. Sending lots of love to you.